section. When I found these four bones of what became popularly known as Littlefoot in September 1994, that was exciting enough. But uh, for me, there always remained the question, what happened to the rest of the foot? Where were those bones? Well, that was unexpectedly answered on the 15th of May 1997. Um, I was looking through a box of Sturtfontein monkey fossils in the Witz Medical School, and there among them, I noticed these five bones, which I recognised as being part of Littlefoot. This was remarkable, but what was most exciting was that among these five extra bones, I had these two, which are the distal fibula, here, and the distal tibia. That's the ends of the leg bones that articulate with the ankle. Now what was interesting was that both of these had clean breaks. So I decided to look out here at Sturkfontein in the boxes of fossils to see if I could find the shafts of these leg bones. And to my surprise, I found in a box of antelope fossils not only the shaft, but the distal end attached. Now this meant that I had not only the left leg, but part of the right leg as well. That was dramatic, because what this implied was that the whole skeleton was probably there and I was determined to find it in the breccia of the Silberberg Grotto. Uh, 